All crustaceans are kinda scary. Just look at them. They're all hard and spiny, and their hands and arms are literally weapons. But there are some crab-like creatures that are even more terrifying than average. These are crustaceans you should fear the most. Number 20. Brown Crab When the sun sets on the Norwegian coast, the nocturnal brown crab emerges to feed on barnacles, adhering to the rocks. The brown crab adores barnacles, but this is frequently its undoing. Many Norwegians go out in little boats on balmy summer nights, and they know just where the brown crab loves to hang out. The brown crab does not sleep and does not even close its eyes. Despite this, this hard, pinching crawler can outlive many people. To collect brown crabs, all you need is a torch and quick reflexes. The last thing a brown crab sees is a flare and a flying hand, but you must act quick. The crab will notice what is going on in a second or two, and will use all of its strength to pinch you. And it will not let up readily. Consequently, collecting crabs not only gives a tasty dinner, but it also delivers an adrenaline rush. The brown crab seeks a hiding spot to rest during the day, but the perils of the water prevent it from sleeping. Its eyes are always open, and its nose, the antennae between the eyes, is continually moving, alert to threats and hazards lurking around every corner. It's a technique that pays off handsomely in terms of longevity. Some crabs may live for over a century. It's possible that crabs from the First World War are still living today. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Any crab expert, yeah, they do exist, we'll let you know. The Red King Crab is one of the most dangerous crustaceans on the planet. They're the largest of commercially harvested crabs, and for seafood fans, they're very tasty. But you certainly wouldn't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one in a fight. These bad boys will eat literally everything they can get their claws on, even you. If that, combined with their size, doesn't terrify ya, then you are far braver than me. As always, comment down below with the hashtag Juicy Topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 19. Mantis Shrimp Stomatopods, often known as mantis shrimp, are predatory marine crustaceans that evolved from other Malacostraca species approximately 340 million years ago. Mantis shrimps generally grow to be approximately 3.9 inches long, however some can grow to be up to 15 inches long. More than 450 species of mantis shrimp have been identified, ranging in color from shades of brown to vibrant colors. In many shallow tropical and subtropical marine environments, they are among the most significant predators. Despite their widespread distribution, they are poorly studied as many species spend the most of their lives hidden in burrows and holes. Mantis shrimps have strong raptorials that they employ to spear, paralyze, or dismember their victims. Some species of mantis shrimp have specialized calcified clubs that can attack with considerable force, while others have pointed forelimbs that are used to grab food, and hence the name mantis. Mantis shrimps live for a long time and engage in intricate behaviors including ritualized combat. Some animals employ fluorescent patterns on their bodies to communicate with one another and maybe even with other species, therefore increasing their range of behavioral signals. They have good learning and memory skills as well as the ability to recognize particular neighbors with whom they engage often. They can recognize them based on visual cues and even scent to defend their territory from competitors, many have developed sophisticated social behaviors. Number 18. Common Hairy Crab 
The common hairy crab is a European crab species. It measures less than an inch in length and is completely covered in hair. It eats carrion and dwells in shallow water. The carapace and legs are reddish brown or purple in color, with orange or lighter interior surfaces. A thick coating of setae covers both the carapace and the walking legs. The chelae or claws on the first set of legs are big, with one claw, generally the right, being larger than the other. Females' claws are smaller and less hairy. The North Sea to Morocco, the Azores, Madeira, the Canary Islands, and the Cape Verde Islands, as well as the Mediterranean and Black Seas, are all home to this crab. Hard frosts, strong storms, and pollution are all factors that restrict it. Pelumnus hurtalis may be found on a variety of substrates, including muddy, sandy, and rocky bottoms, beneath stones, and even amid the holdfasts of seaweed, at depths of up to 260 feet. This species favors rocky regions with rich algae and mussels in the Black Sea. Females may bear up to 4,000 eggs between April and August. These are discharged as planktonic zoa larvae between May and September, which grow into megalopa larvae before developing into the adult form. Number 17. Toxic Crab the floral egg crab, also known as the green egg crab or shawl crab, is a tropical Indo-Pacific crab belonging to the Xanthidae family. Even when cooked, the flesh of this crab is poisonous, and eating it can lead to death. Crab sticks for dinner should be avoided at all costs. The carapace of Adergatus floridus is round and moderately thin, with a smooth surface and smooth edges. The shell is greenish or greenish-blue-brown in color, and has a lace-like design made up of a thin network of fine white or yellow lines similar to a shawl. It has big claws that are equal in size, smooth and have black spoon-shaped points, and males may have larger claws than females. The pariapods are squarish in form, thick, and hairless, with lavender margins. Adergatus floridus may be found in the eastern Indian Ocean from Southeast Asia to Australia, where it can be found on Rottnest Island in Western Australia, and perhaps Sydney in the east. Its distribution also extends eastward, over the Western Pacific to Hawaii. The flesh of Adergatus floridus, like that of many other Xanthidae crab species, is harmful. Toxins are produced by Vibrio bacteria that live in symbiosis with the crab. And the poisons are tetrodotoxin, which is comparable to that found in pufferfish, and saxitoxin, which is the main toxin implicated in paralytic shellfish poisoning. Number 16. Boxer Crab Libya is a tiny crab genus belonging to the Xanthidae family. Boxer crabs, boxing crabs, and pom-pom crabs are some of their common names. They are known for their mutualism with sea anemones, which they defend by holding in their claws. In exchange, the anemones are transported around, which may allow their tentacles to catch more food particles. At least three anemone species are used by boxer crabs, including Bundiopsis spp and Triactus producta. However, Bonding with the anemone is not required for existence, and boxer crabs have been observed living without them, occasionally substituting sponges and corals for the sea anemones. The pom-pom crab gets its name from the symbiotic behavior of waving a stinging sea anemone, typically Triactus producta, in each claw to ward off predators and perhaps stun victims. Its other popular name, boxer crab, refers to its abrasive reaction to threats. T. producta, a sea anemone, may reproduce a sexually by fission. Two crabs with just one anemone when collected, and two others with one anemone removed, were discovered to have a partial anemone in each claw throughout the course of the following several days in a research study. These anemones grew up to be regular ones. One crab was seen tearing an anemone in half by holding it with both keely, and then pulling them apart until the tissues separated. What a wonderful friendship these two share. Number 15. Pistol Shrimp the Elphiidae family of Caridian snapping shrimp is distinguished by asymmetrical claws with the bigger claw capable of making a loud snapping sound. Animals in this category are also known as pistol shrimp or alphide shrimp. The majority of snapping shrimp dig burrows and may be found on coral reefs, submerged seagrass flats, and oyster reefs. While the majority of genera and species live in tropical and temperate coastal and marine waters, Bataeus lives in frigid waters, while 
Potamelphiops only lives in freshwater caves. The snapping shrimp may interfere with sonar and underwater communication when in colonies. Shrimp are thought to be a major cause of ocean noise. It stands out because of its disproportionately huge claw, which is more than half of the shrimp's body. The claw can be seen on either arm of the body and lacks the usual pincers found on other shrimp claws. Instead, it features a two-part pistol-like characteristic. The hammer portion may slide backward into a right-angled position thanks to a joint. It snaps into the opposite portion of the claw when released, ejecting a massive wave of bubbles capable of stunning bigger fish and shattering glass jars. Pistol shrimp are capable of reversing their claws. The missing limb will regenerate into a smaller claw, and the original smaller appendage will develop into a new snapping claw if the snapping claw is lost. The snapping shrimp competes for the title of loudest animal in the water with considerably larger creatures like the sperm whale and beluga whale, the volume of the shot reaching 190 decibels. Number 14. Japanese Spider Crab the Japanese spider crab is a kind of marine crab found in Japan seas. It is the arthropod with the longest leg span. In order to reach their massive size, they go through three larval phases and a presial stage. Crab fisheries seek them out, and they're regarded a delicacy in Japan. Overfishing is a threat to these species and their populations, and conservation measures are underway to safeguard them. The leg span of the Japanese spider crab is the longest of any arthropod, measuring up to 12.1 feet from claw to claw. Aside from its enormous size, the Japanese spider crab is distinct from other crabs in several respects. Males' initial pleopods are curled in odd ways, and the larvae seem primitive. Despite its fearsome look, it is said to have a sweet nature. It also features a one-of-a-kind molting habit that lasts 103 minutes and involves the crab losing movement and molting its carapace pack before molting its walking legs. Giant spider crabs employ camouflage as well as their protective exoskeletons to protect themselves from larger predators like octopuses. The rough carapace of the crab fits nicely with the rocky ocean floor. A spider crab will cover its shell with sponges and other creatures to add to the illusion. Number 13. Ghost Crab Ghost crabs belong to the Osipodne subfamily of semi-terrestrial crabs. They live in deep burrows in the intertidal zone and are found in tropical and subtropical locations across the world. They are generalist scavengers and small animal predators. The moniker ghost crab comes from the fact that they are nocturnal and have a pale coloring. The subfamily is distinguished by one claw that is bigger than the other, thick and extended eye stalks, and a box-like body. The claw sizes of female fiddler crabs differ less than those of male fiddler crabs. There are 22 species in the subfamily, divided into two genera. The majority of ghost crabs have pale bodies that blend in nicely with the sand, but they may change their coloring over time to fit their surroundings and the time of day. The eye stalks of ghost crabs are elongated and bulging, with big corneas on the bottom half. Their carapaces are deep and box-like, with straight or slightly curved edges when viewed from the top. Ghost crabs are quick movers who flee at the first hint of danger. To avoid visitors, they either return to their tunnels or dive into the water. Number 12. Chinese Mitten Crab the Chinese mitten crab is a medium-sized burrowing crab that gets its name from its mitten-like hairy claws. It is found in East Asia's rivers, estuaries, and other coastal environments from Korea to Fujian, China, and the south. It's also made its way to Europe and North America, where it's deemed an invasive species. The species is on the list of invasive alien species that the European Union is concerned about. This implies that the species' importation and trading are prohibited across across the European Union. The thick patches of black setae on this species' claws are its defining characteristic. The body of the crab is about the size of a human palm. Mitten crabs live in fresh water for the most part of their lives before returning to the sea to reproduce. These crustaceans move downstream in late summer during their four or fifth year to reach sexual maturity in tidal estuaries. Females move seaward after mating, overwintering in deeper seas. In the spring, they return to brackish water to lay their eggs. The young crabs eventually travel upstream into fresh water after developing as larvae, completing the life cycle. Number 11. 
Noble Crayfish The European crayfish, also known as the noble crayfish or broad-fingered crayfish, is the most abundant crayfish species in Europe and a traditional food source. Osticus, like other genuine crayfish, is a freshwater creature that can only be found in clean streams, rivers, and lakes. It may be found from France to the Balkan Peninsula in Central Europe, as well as areas of the British Isles, Scandinavia, Finland, and Eastern Europe. Worms, aquatic insects, mollusks, and plants are all eaten by European crayfish. They are nocturnal and spend the day in their burrows. After three to four years and a series of molts, Osticus reaches sexual maturity and breeds in October and November. The fertilized eggs are held by the female, connected to her pleopods, until they hatch and spread in May the following year. European mink, eels, perch, pike, Eurasian otters, and muskrats are the primary predators of Osticus as juveniles and adults. This species was previously common in Europe, albeit it was difficult to obtain, and it was regarded as the tastiest crayfish. The crayfish plague, borne by the invasive North American species signal crayfish, is nonetheless a threat, so like in the 14th century, European crayfish are currently suffering from the Black Death. Yikes. Consumption of Osticus has been documented since the Middle Ages, when it was popular among the Swedish aristocracy. Number 10. Giant Fairy Shrimp Branchinecta gigas is a fairy shrimp species that may be found in western Canada and the United States. It is the biggest fairy shrimp species, reaching a maximum size of 3.4 inches. The giant fairy shrimp is its popular name. Females achieve sexual maturity at 1.8 to 2 inches and develop up to 3.4 inches, whereas males only reach 2.6 inches. Individuals up to 7 inches have appeared in unpublished records, despite being the largest species in the family, B. gigas has the smallest eyes in the family and possibly all of Anastraca. Alberta, Saskatchewan, Washington, Montana, Oregon, North Dakota, Utah, Nevada, and California are all home to Branchinecta gigas. It may be found in hypersaline lakes and rivers, with salinities ranging from 1.8 to 5.8 percent. The fairy shrimp assumes a hunting stance during eating, with the body bent double. The the species swims with its abdomen nearly parallel to the thorax, allowing the sensitive antennae and caudal rami to all stretch forward. The thoracic limbs are held wide open, ready to close in on any incoming prey. The turbidity of the waters, where the fairy shrimp and its prey reside, corresponds with this hunting style, so if you swim in murky waters, you might end up with one of these clamped onto your sensitive parts. Number 9. Tasmanian Monster Crab Trust Australia to produce one of the craziest crustaceans of all, the Tasmanian giant crab is a massive crab that lives on rocky and muddy ocean bottoms off the coast of Australia. The Tasmanian giant crab dwells in the seas off southern Australia at a depth of 66 to 2,690 feet on stony and muddy bottoms on the continental shelf's edge. The Tasmanian giant crab is one of the world's largest crabs, weighing 39 pounds and measuring 18 inches in width. Male Tasmanian giant crabs are nearly twice as large as females. Males have one normal-sized and one enormous claw, which can be longer than the carapace width while females have both claws normal-sized. The claw tips are black and the crab is mostly whitish-yellow below the red above. Carrion and slow-moving animals, such as gastropods, crustaceans, and starfish, are eaten by the Tasmanian giant crab. Cannibalism is also a possibility. In June and July, they mate, and the female bears the 0.5 to 2 million eggs for four months. The species is slowly growing and has a lengthy lifespan. Juveniles molt their carapace every three to four years, and mature females every nine years. Number 8. American Lobster 
The American lobster is a kind of lobster found throughout North America's Atlantic coast, mostly from Labrador to New Jersey. It can grow to be 25 inches long and weigh over 44 pounds, making it not just the world's biggest crustacean, but also the heaviest of any extant anthropod species. The European lobster, Homerus gamerus, which is characterized by its color and lack of spines on the underside of the rostrum, is its closest cousin. Lobsters in the United States are typically blue-green to brown in hue, with red spines. However, there are numerous color variants. According to Guinness World Records, the biggest crustacean ever taken was a 44.4-pound American lobster found off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. A lobster with a distinct hue on the left and right side of the body has been collected. This split colorization is the consequence of a genetic abnormality that enables both sides of the lobster to grow separately, according to a University of Rhode Island researcher. Lobsters from the United States are a popular delicacy. Typically, they are cooked or steamed. If kept chilled, hard-shelled lobsters, lobsters that haven't molted in several months, may live out of the water for up to four to five days. Soft-shelled lobsters, lobsters that have recently molted, can only survive a few hours out of the water. Lobsters are generally cooked alive, which is banned in certain regions and considered cruel by some. Number 7. Zebra Mantis Shrimp the zebra mantis shrimp, also known as the striped mantis shrimp or razor mantis, is a species of mantis shrimp that may be found from East Africa to the Galapagos and Hawaiian Islands in the Indo-Pacific area. The shape of the raptoral claw and how the mantis shrimp utilizes it determine whether the shrimp is a smasher or a spearer. Spearers have extended dactyls with sharp spines that have been unfurled in order to reach prey. Smashers, on the other hand, have folded dactyls with highly calcified heels that are adapted for smashing. An example of a spearing mantis shrimp is the zebra mantis shrimp. This shrimp hunts soft-bellied evasive food like tiny fish and malacostracans by hiding in sandy burrows. They feature a spring and latch mechanism at the base of their raptoral appendages that allow them to produce a spring-loaded strike in order to achieve fast attack speeds. This spring-like mechanism stores energy, allowing for a quicker hit than would be feasible with just muscular movement. The zebra mantis shrimp only peeks above the opening of the burrow before attacking prey. The mantis shrimp leaps out and snares the victim with both of its raptoral appendages as soon as the prey is within striking distance of the burrows. Number 6. Tasmanian Giant Freshwater Crayfish the Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish is the world's largest freshwater invertebrate and largest species of water crayfish. The species is exclusively found in northern Tasmanian rivers below 1,300 feet above sea level. Due to overfishing and habitat destruction, it is designated as an endangered species on the IUCN Red List, and catching the crayfish has been forbidden since 1998. The food of freshwater crayfish varies with age, but rotting wood, leaves, and their accompanying microorganisms make up the majority of their diet. When accessible, they may also consume tiny fish, insects, decaying animal meat, and other debris. It has a lengthy lifespan lasting up to 60 years. Because of its enormous size, the species has no natural predators when fully grown, although smaller individuals can fall prey to platypus, river blackfish, and rakali. Previously, the species was found in all rivers running into Bass Strait, with the exception of those in the Tamar Basin, from the Arthur River in the west to the Tamar River in the east. Fishing for the gigantic freshwater crayfish was never profitable, and this species' sluggish development and aggressive behavior indicate that it is not ideal for aquaculture. Number 5. Helicella gigantea Alicella gigantea is the world's biggest amphipod, with some specimens reaching up to 13 inches in length. Alicellia and five allied taxa were previously classified as members of the Lycianacidae family, but a new family, Alicellidae. 
was established in 2008. The first specimens were taken from the Madeira Abyssal Plain towards the end of the 19th century, and later examples have been found in various abyssal plains of both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, as well as the Kermatic Trench in the Southwest Pacific. One specimen was discovered in the stomach of a black-footed albatross, although it is believed to have died before being devoured. The Alicellidae are an amphipod crustacean family that lives as scavengers in the deep sea, typically near hydrothermal vents. Amphipods are estimated to have evolved approximately 350 million years ago, during the Lower Carboniferous Period. Despite its antiquity, the order Amphipoda has a limited fossil record, consisting of only one species from the Lower Cretaceous at Weald Clay in the United Kingdom. Number 4. Giant Acorn Barnacle Balanus nubilis, often known as the giant acorn barnacle, is the world's biggest barnacle measuring up to 6 inches in diameter. Balanus nubilis is a species found in the Northeast Pacific, ranging from southern Alaska to Baja California at depths of up to 300 feet. It can be found growing on rocks, pier pilings, and hard-shelled animals. B. nubilis, like other acorn barnacles, is a filter feeder that is occasionally eaten by sea otters and Native Americans in the Pacific Northwest. The crab Glebocarcinus oregonensis used abandoned B. nubilis shells for refuge. The terms acorn barnacle and acorn shell refer to specific forms of stockless barnacles that do not use stocked or gooseneck barnacles. They are usually cone-shaped, symmetrical, and adhere to rocks or other permanent objects in the water when they are adults. Acorn barnacles are barnacles that belong to the Balanomorpha order of barnacles. Barnacles are economically important because they frequently attach themselves to synthetic constructions, sometimes to the damage of the structure. They are categorized as fouling organisms, especially in the case of ships. Number 3. Gigantic Tiger Shrimp the gigantic tiger shrimp is a popular food-producing marine invertebrate. Its native range extends from the eastern coast of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula all the way to Southeast Asia, the Pacific Ocean, and Northern Australia. It is an invasive species in the Gulf of Mexico's northern seas and the Atlantic Ocean. Off of the coast of the United States, P. monodon, as it is known, was originally discovered in the United States in November 1988, after an unintentional discharge from an aquaculture facility, almost 300 shrimp were collected off the coast of the southeast. From Texas to North Carolina, this species may now be captured, despite the fact that P. monodon has been an invasive species species for a long time, it has failed to establish substantial numbers. After white-leg shrimp, P. monodon is the most commonly cultivated prawn species on the planet. The shrimp is famous in culture because of its salt tolerance and rapid development rate. It has been grown in many places across the world, including West Africa, Haiti, Tahiti, and England. The shrimp are usually fed a complex diet in a farm environment, which is made up of dry pellets. Number 2. Maha Squinado Maha squinado, often known as the European spider crab, is a migratory crab that may be found in the North Atlantic and Mediterranean seas. The crab migrations are most common in the fall, with some crabs traveling nearly 100 miles in 8 months. When crabs molt, they are susceptible to predators, and this crab becomes social around that time, probably to protect themselves from predators. The spider crab is a commercially fished species with over 5,000 tons caught annually, with more than 70% caught off the coast of France, over 10% off the coast of the United Kingdom, 6% from the Channel Islands, 3% from each of Spain and Ireland, 2% from Croatia, 1% from Portugal, and the rest from Montenegro, Denmark, and Morocco. The European Union requires a minimum landing size of 120 millimeters for M. squinado, 
While some individual nations have their own rules, such as Spain's ban on landing egg-bearing females and France's and the Channel Islands' closed seasons. Squinado is derived from the Provencal name for the species, Squinado, Esquinado, or Esquinadun, which was first documented by Ron Delat in 1554. Number 1. Palm Thief the coconut crab is the only species of the genus Burgess, which is linked to the Conobita group of terrestrial hermit crabs. It demonstrates a variety of adaptations to land life. Coconut crabs utilize empty snail shells for protection, just like other hermit crabs, but adults grow a strong exoskeleton on their abdomens and cease carrying a shell. Coconut crabs have bronchiostegal lungs, which are utilized for breathing instead of their vestigial gills, and they will perish if immersed in water for too long after the juvenile stage. They have a keen sense of smell that they employ to locate possible food sources, and that has evolved in tandem with insect senses. Adult coconut crabs consume fleshy fruits, nuts, seeds, and the pith of fallen trees as a main source of food. But they will also eat carrion and other organic materials when the opportunity arises. Anything left on the ground that is abandoned is a possible food source, which they will inspect and perhaps carry away, earning them the nickname robber crab. Despite the fact that the species is commonly linked with the coconut palm, it does not eat coconuts. The crab, although living in a burrow, has been seen climbing coconut and pandanus trees, though they may dislodge ripe fruit that would otherwise fall spontaneously. No footage shows a crab selecting coconut fruit carefully. Are you afraid to go back in the water? How about a pet Japanese spider crab? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!